as usual, just a reminder, um, you can stick ideas for um, the meeting here if you have things you want to chat about. still working through the v2 removal and i hit this chicken and egg problem where like everything that's left depends on each other and there's still a bunch of hidden deprecated fields and tests and i don't know like what to strip off someday someday v2 will live forever hopefully Ew. five of the files i think five of the files v2 wants to live forever but we won't let it that's right, Matt. Yeah. Removing files of the vengeance in my copious free time. I mean, it's sort of thing you can do when you're in meetings, right? Right. <laughs> I still get to code. I really get to code. Matt, do you have anything we should do? You think we should mention? Um, We're still I don't think so. Any updates on contrib? Uh, so I, I have the PR out, so uh, there's a couple comments on it, but if people want to take a look, that would be good. Hoping to actually merge that in the next couple of days. Um, there weren't that many comments so far, so I'll go through and fix those today. But if people have any further comments, please let me know. And then I'm going to go through and move a couple other extensions. But I mean, once the main build infrastructure lands, we can have people start to merge merge other things into it yeah so are we going to have one ci variant that builds it all then it's going to be the release build because what's going to happen is we're still going to ship images for a contrib so <laughs> the only ci that will run on on contrib will be the optimized release build and okay. that will run tests and then also build the images um and it's just more obviously efficient that way since we're going to ship images anyway. So, yeah. you know, most, most of the compile time is shared. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it should cut down on CI otherwise because we're not going to run any other CI on it. Mm -hmm. And thanks as always for tackling that. Yeah, not, it was not fun. Mostly because of the API stuff, actually. It's, there's just like a ton of, uh, just like a lot of special casing that has to happen to deal with those files. There's just a lot of hard coded stuff related to V2 and V3 and all of the API stuff. So the sooner we can get rid of all of that, the better. <laughs> Does anyone else hear of things you want to chat about? Or it's going to be a very short meeting. I guess it's worth mentioning that the um, the uh, dynamic parameters design uh, is mostly in good shape. I am going to remove the DPDS part. I'm not sure it solves any problem right now. We can add that later, but the rest of it I think is is in good shape and uh, we'll probably be pushing forward with that. I think if we don't have anything else to chat about, I'd be inclined to say we'll see folks in two weeks. Um, I it's think uh, Bill Rowe here. I think I had just one small open question. 
Um, is anybody else looking at the moment at the uh, Basel 5 migration challenge moving toward um, the, the Basel uh, rolling release uh, transition? What, what is the Basel rolling release transition? Yeah, can you give a little background? I'm not familiar yes. with that. Yes. Um, so what we have been tracking to um, uh, throughout the, the late Basel 3.x, 3.6, 3, uh, 7, et cetera, and now uh, Basel 4041, um, they're actually moving away from that. They appear to be moving away from that model, uh, looking to do something much more uh, dynamic. Um, and there are a number of uh, syntactical things that have to do with uh, uh, Starlark, Skylark um, motion. And I guess I'm just wondering if anybody else has uh, even begun to look at, uh, at this challenge of uh, getting us up to what will be tomorrow's basil or today's basil according to the rolling releases. But like, what what is the challenge? I mean... Are they changing? Syntactically and structurally, our basil is not set up correctly to do that. Our, our, our workspaces and our um, BZL resources all need some minor adjustment. So I'm just wondering who, who can chime in on that, who has looked at that, if anyone, uh, or am I kind of floating around on my own? Um, because there's a number of there's a number of bug fixes that are going into Basil that touch well, for example, Windows, or might be touching library construction for um, Mac or whatever. Um, and at some point, we are going to have to make that sort of a transition. So they're breaking like backwards compatibility, or what? Yeah, five o five o is as typical as a breaking change. My disgusted look is on my face right now um yeah i i, I don't really know what to say i mean it's this is kind of incredible to me that they would be doing that so um from my perspective I, I don't really care if we ever move right so i i think someone who is motivated either on the google side or the window side is probably going to have to do the migration like I said, I just didn't want to uh, duplicate efforts if anybody else is researching. And we are getting, and we are seeing some backwards um, momentum in terms of backporting key bug fixes back to the the 4X. But again, they're they're de-emphasizing point releases, and they are pushing forward toward this rolling release strategy, which puts us back basically where we were with Basil 0.28 and 2.4 and. I mean, unless there's something really pressing, I'd be inclined to wait a while and see how the dust settles and then figure out what to do. Well, and aren't we in well, that, This is a year. Well, this is this is six months to a year of uh, uh, advertising um, by the Basil team that this was the direction they were moving in. Um, it seems like now there's going to be uh, some forcing factors uh, to basically say, well, if you do want these bug fixes, um, for example, there have been some repairs to um, Rules uh, CC, um, trying to integrate a version of Rules CC that integrates to Basil 2. or 4.1, 4.2 um, is starting to prove challenging. We need a we need a we need a change on that uh, Rules CC for Windows. We'll need changes for um, we all probably will appreciate Rules 4 and CC changes. Um, because that has a lot to do with the way that we interact with uh, all these third-party components that are based on CMake. So anyways, again, I mean, I, I understand. I just I wanted to know that I wasn't duplicating effort, and I had not seen the tracking PRs that indicated somebody was on it. Yeah, I would say file an open issue where we can just mention that you know, there's, there's no pressing need to migrate, that it would be a nice to-do for Windows, and, and that way... If anyone starts looking at it, at least it'll kind of be updated in one place. I mean, we do have we do have we do have issues. I mean, Lausanne has issues. I have issues uh, related to the way uh, flags get uh, handled, uh, the way that dependencies of dependencies get handled, and uh, flags uh, have transitory properties to the end result. And if we ever want to get to a point where we could build both a dynamic uh, and a statically linked basal. Um, 
out of the same framework, um, we have work to do. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that no one is working on it, but I do have a question is that theoretically we run in Bazel CI, right? So how, how is that still passing? Yeah, we are, so we basically have defeated, uh, well, because we only build uh, Bazel static and we only, or we only build Envoy static and on Windows, we're just foregoing um, collection of uh, uh, debugging symbolics and so forth. We have various force override flags to play with uh, FPIC behaviors. Um, if you take a look at uh, Bazel RC, uh, you'll see all sorts of uh, interesting things along with our um, Envoy Bazel um, BZL build files. So we have all the overrides in there to do one particular thing well. Um, in theory, these things should be fixed um, incrementally, and some of them have been fixed, um, but we need to be able to pick those components up. Sorry, my point more is that if they're breaking backwards compatibility, aren't we going to start failing in, when, in Bazel CI? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't or are they not we're actually still we're still using Basil 4x? Right. right, but are they gonna stop running Basil 4x and Basil CI? Like that's what I'm trying to understand. Like, are we are we gonna lose Basil that's CI a... support? And I'm just surprised that this is the first that I've heard of this. Like it seems yeah. like someone from the Basil team would have been complaining. Are we or Jan? Can you comment to, to that? To update. I mean, that's part of our tool chain, so that's Everything, all the tools, including Basil, is in the um, in the Docker, or maybe the Basilisk that's set to get the specific version is in a Docker container. So that whatever they're doing shouldn't affect our CI. You know, if we well, well no, but like in the in the, the whole reason we're in the Basil CI is because they want to make sure that when they make a change to Basil, it doesn't break Envoy and right. And Whole bunch of oh, um, I see. Okay, I'm not talking about RCI. I'm talking about their their CI. So I I can only assume that they're that they're, 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 they're not turning this on for level five yet. Otherwise, we would have we, we would have seen something like exactly what they're testing their CI is probably a bit of a blind spot to us. We know we've been enabled in their CI. We occasionally get bug reports from them, and they're like, "Oh, please fix your uh, Basil because it's breaking us." But um, you know, get rid of this experimental flag. It's now this other flag. But um, I, I think. Maybe yeah, I don't know, like maybe a good action item is, to, uh, is for us to follow up internally with Basil team and just understand what the game plan is with Basil yeah. Five. Because we we sync with them regularly anyway, and uh, yeah, okay. now contact. So I think we can do that. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, I I think just understanding the plan there would be important because, um, I mean, it's shocking to me that this late late in the project they're doing like such fundamental breaking changes, although it doesn't really surprise me, um, but it seems like we, we need to have a plan here. I'll continue. Uh, Alyssa made the right comment. I think a, a ticket is right here. Um, we'll start and track some tracking issues um, around the space and identify what, what things need to be migrated. Thanks, everybody. Anything else to discuss? All right, should we, uh, should we end this? And we'll see you all in two weeks. Hey everyone.